especially during the last decades, Italian system was one of the best one in the Western world. I Italy had a strong social system in which even the poorest people of society could allow a quality, uh, a good quality healthcare system. This changed in the last years, especially in the last uh, uh, in the last 20 years. So when with Berlusconi, with the first Berlusconi, we started the process of privatization of public assets. Of course, health and education were the first two sectors who were affected by this uh, change of view by uh, from a social system who was very strong and effective to a, uh, a blending between the private and the public system. So nowadays we still have a public health, uh, health care system that more or less works but it's not the way it used to work before. So uh, fees coming uh, fees also in the public became higher poor people have some difficulties to have proper uh, health care and uh, we uh, we're going we're going towards a system was always more private than private well if i have to if i have to say it in my opinion this is not fair and we are fighting uh, we are fighting against uh, against this kind of system because of course if you uh, if you start from the point that italy is a country with a uh, high level of uh, taxation citizens should have in return a good public system so starting from education and health so in my political struggle we're fighting for a very good health public system and a very and a very good uh, public education system something that is uh, changing unfortunately in the last years so this is our opinion this is what happening what's going I, on I in europe this is uh, something that is happening all over europe because in my country we have a right-wing government and they want to privatize the healthcare as well so th this is yeah this is yeah, yeah okay, that okay, that's 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 happening all over europe and I, I'm a, I represent the left. I see it, it as a very bad uh, development, but also not only as a left, but as a human and as a woman, woman who also needs these services. So. I, I think no, also my movement is, is a very strong socialist approach on the, uh, I mean, uh, the key sector of our society. So. I, I don't think there is a state without a proper health and education system. We used to have a very good ones and we want to preserve it. So this is this is what's what's going on in Italy. Of course the American system is the one who's taken uh, as a model from American a European system is very expensive system. Like it's a very expensive system, uh, with a, uh, half of the money we get more results. Like yeah, yeah, that's so, it. And, so and, and that's say, say, same it is in Italy, yes. in France, and in Germany. Yeah, and in England, but they have also a strong public system. That's yes. it. It's all, it, all Europe has been yes. all very with a very social, uh, with a very social it's structure. Effective. But it's uh, uh, it's changing. It's yes. affected by the the idea of the private sector taking, you know, taking the public the you know the public assets Opening and make markets. yeah and making it and making it business so making it something to have profit on luckily there still are uh, uh there still is a lot of concepts in europe that wants to block this kind of process we hope to we hope to do it uh, as soon as we can because it's dangerous what is happening it's not right it's not fair to have people who, uh, who are citizens of one country with uh, uh, some rights and other citizens with other rights. So this is something we, we all should uh, fight for. The second question was about gender equality. And uh, gender equality is an issue that uh, uh, I think is underestimated in all Southern Europe. Because we have lots of quotas, lots of laws that uh, 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 make you know a uh, exterior uh, exterior appearance that uh, things are working properly but if i say if i have to uh, you know analyze the situation as it is in Iran, in spain I, I i lived also in spain for quite a while so i can compare i can compare with the spanish situation and it also uh, affects the eastern countries of europe and uh, other southern so like greece like croatia or, or what's so portugal and well we have uh, 
uh, we have quotas and we have many women in the key positions so in uh, the public in the public sector but also in the private sector but many of them they don't come from their way so they're just they many of them are just the daughter of the wife of the the sister of and the idea of leadership is still uh, strongly connected with the fi with the figure of men. So I don't I don't say that the society in Southern Europe it's much it's as it used to be 20, 30, 40 years ago. It's changing. There are many, many. There are always more women, uh, you know, making their way. And surely there are opportunities and possibilities. But I cannot say that uh, nowadays we have nowadays we have the same perfect rights and uh, possibilities between men and women surely the things things are changing and are better if we compare it with 40 50 years ago but still the process is not completed in uh, so in society i mean in society there is always the option that uh, some works some responsibility are more for men than for women this is the sensation i feel in southern europe especially then of course if we talk about uh, quotas and access we have all the laws and the possibility that allow and uh, guarantee the access of uh, of gender equality but still the society and the feeling are not 50 percent equal there's still you know the process the pro it's still a process that's going on what about the adolescents accessing uh, 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 reproductive health and uh, particularly correct information about uh, <laughs> sex and reproductive health okay we have a co very curious situation in italy because of the presence of the vatican mm -hmm. so we have a uh, figures i mean something for example my father is a uh, pharma pharmacian uh well works on our pharmacy so uh, what happens is that if you need to have uh, the next day pill of uh, you need to have uh, some uh, contraceptives and you go to the pharmacy you can find someone who said because it's very catholic mm -hmm. and say oh no i'm not going to sell you that because i object <laughs> this is uh, i'm unfortunately it is legal in Italy it is legal in Italy because you can have objection for religion this is something that still comes from the Vatican from the from the uh, religion from the Christian from the strong Christian influence we have in Italy and it's something that we are trying to change because I think I mean Italy is a secular country of course we have a constitution that was built in 40 in the uh, after the second after the second war and we argue up with that constitution and the secular idea but still you know their religion the religious part of the country can uh, you know they can refuse to give you to give, to give you uh, uh, to give you contraceptive or something like that because of a conscience objection this is the way it's called in Italy and I don't think it's right in some important in some important sector uh, as it can be the medical one and the pharmaceutical pharmaceutical one so this is something that surely has to be changed if we talk about the access of course you can go to a pharmacy and the doctor said there is not going to sell you the next day pill but you go to the other ones and you will get it and uh, in the worst in the worst case you go to the hospital you explain the situation and you will find you will find a solution but still uh, you know except this uh, well we, we can say that except this uh, strange situation we can say that everyone has the right and the access to reprodu reproductive health care. Of course, we talk, when we talk about abortion, abortion is legal in Italy, but it's quite expensive. It is. Okay. So you don't get you don't get an abortion for free. I mean, uh, it's it can be quite expensive. Okay. Or, are safe abortions, or are are is it safe? Is it safe? Or? They used to be, they, they had, uh, it, Italy was a country where there were lots of illegal abortion and that's why the parliament had a abortion law that could allow women to have, uh, to have sexual to have sexual rights because many women were getting you know were getting uh, uh, diseases because of illegal abortion or I, it was I, if I don't if I'm not mistaken it was on in during, between the 60s and the 70s during the 60s ma many women 
uh, died or got uh, serious serious diseases because of illegal abortion, and then the parliament had a law on abortion. It was a referendum actually in Italy because of the presence of Vatican and the strong uh, and the strong objection on having a law like that. But this is something that we have we we've been having for more than 40 years. So it's a right that everybody considered uh, reached, seized, and uh, not changeable anymore.